I have to make my film, you know, I have to act. Not that I'm going to act in every single film I direct or, or produce, mm -hmm. but, you know, generally speaking, I'm, I'm an actor. That's all I've always wanted to do, and that's what I will continue to try to do is to get on film and to act because, I mean, that's what I really love. The acting, everything, not the acting. Yeah. Everything else, I, I just, I had to do something mm -hmm. in order for me to act. So it's almost like someone telling you, yeah, I'm going to give you a nice cold beer. Yes. But you got to go through up the hill, down the mountain, underneath, you know, the ground and, and come out the little, you know, the little chute or whatever. And it's just like you have to do different things in life to get to where you, what you really want. Yeah. What was what your favorite part that you ever acted in? Um, you mean in, in film in general? In, in, in film in general. I mean, you know, there was a character. There was uh, there was a play that I did back in uh, in New York. Mm -hmm. It was when I was going to drama school. It was called uh, <laughs> A Lonely Impulse of Delight, and it was about a guy that, you know, he met a mermaid. He fell in love with a mermaid. Right. And he was trying to get his best friend to come see this mermaid. And his best friend's like, like, Walter, you're crazy. There's nothing there. And he's just like, no, seriously, seriously. There's a mermaid there. She's so beautiful and you have to meet her. Right. And his best friend said, you know what? You need help. Good luck. And he left him. And he was there. And then he said, he questioned himself. He said, how come you never came? And then the little mermaid answered, the, little, the mermaid answered, you know, Walter, I love you. And really, you know, when I think about that piece that I did, it's really, you know, I can tell everybody, listen, yeah. this is how you get to the, this is how you get to where you need to, to get to. to be, yeah. mm -hmm. But people don't want to listen. And nobody believes you or nobody believes in you. Nobody believes in what you believe. So you believe and in self-empowerment? I believe in, in, in self-empowerment, totally. <laughs> you, you have to see yourself there before you can get there. Before you can get there, And yes. if you don't believe in yourself, then you know what? No one Nobody else, else will. No one else will believe in you. You know, so there's, I mean, there's a lot of term, a lot of terminologies that I can keep telling you. You know, if you think you're a loser, guess what? You are, you know. You are. I mean, it's the truth. I think you need to get a book out. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you know, inspirational book. <laughs> Yes, of course. Now, have you, have you thought about doing uh, the monologue too, or are you just sticking to the one? I mean, you know, I'm just sticking to the one, uh, you know, because sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes you just got to, you got to keep moving. Mm -hmm. You do one project, great, you got it done, mm -hmm. on to the next project. And that's what this business is all about, mm -hmm. because I'm sure everybody doesn't remember Rocky One, you know, and there's yes. been five of them be done, so yes. that's five paychecks on one title, so, yeah. you know, he made a lot of money, Sylvester Stallone. But uh, no, it's on to the next project. I'm considering, uh, you know, what the next project is gonna be. I just love uh, making films yeah. that inspire and move people. I just can't get away from that, you know. In and terms those... of, um, of um, characters, um, is there a movie that you've watched and thought, I could have done that better than you know, that actor there, is there? You know, I mean, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah some, sometimes, yeah. but I mean, I, I respect all actors that are doing it because yeah. you know what, it takes a lot to get there yeah. and it takes a lot of, it's, it, there's just a lot of politics in getting to that stage where mm. you can go, hey, guess what? I can cry in 30 seconds, yeah. but it's just to get there and be allowed to shine. I think that's the journey and that's yeah. the long journey. So I give credit to everybody that is doing their craft, you know. You know, there's a lot of films that, I, I mean, I'm sure people look at it and they go, wow, that performance was bad, that performance was horrible. You know, but so you it's, don't sit there and say, I really don't. I, I could have done better, but not in a positive I mean, way. You know, you not know in a, I not believe in, a in my, way. I, I believe in myself. I yes. know what I can do, and I know I'm capable yes. of doing better work. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm not the only person that says that. I mean, yes. mm -hmm. you know, I have some close friends in New York who are in the business that tell me, "Wow, that that was great." Mm -hmm. You know, this is what we see you doing in the future, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's inspirational when you have, you know, a Tony Award-winning actor telling you that the monologue that you did, you know, you shot it right out the water, you know. And I'm not going to name any names because I, I'm not here to collect points, yes. you know. Yeah. But I know who that person is and that person knows who I am. Yeah. And, you know, it's just inspirational when you get comments like that Absolutely. because it just keeps you moving yeah. and, and, and it keeps you, 
just focused. And even uh, tonight, you know, as I called one of my close friends in New York and told him, I said, hey, I've been nominated, you know, tomorrow I'm picking up an award. You know, he said, no matter what, be focused, be focused. and remain positive. That's what he told me. Absolutely. And this guy, you know, he, he's, he's in the business. He's already accomplished. You know, he's an older gentleman. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I'm thankful for, you know, his encouragement and also mm -hmm. his advice. Wow. You know, because everybody has played a role. Everybody, you know, my family, mm -hmm. you know, uh, my friends in America, people who told me, hey, don't give up, believe in yourself. Keep going. And Keep even going. tonight he mm -hmm. told me, he said, this guy told me, you know, no matter what, you did it. They can't take that away they from you. They can't take that away from you. They cannot. You put one foot in, the other foot went in, you did it. You did it. I, I did it. You know, yes, it's not a hundred million dollar movie. Yeah. But you know what? I put my heart and soul in my project. And I feel good about it. And people say, yeah, but do you think it would have looked better with a different camera? Listen, they all when, you're running a, when, you, when, you're running, <laughs> when you're running a marathon, right, yes. and you're wearing a pair of sneakers, mm -hmm. you're just thankful that those sneakers didn't come off while you were running. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm grateful. My cameras, my crew, and my actors, I'm grateful that everybody just held it together and we got it done because that's the most important thing. Fantastic. Now, back to the BEFTA. You've been nominated, as um, I'm sure the audience back at home know as well, that you've been nominated for, is it two categories? I, th I believe someone told me it was three. It I'm was not three. trying to get ahead wow. of myself. I, I need to check that out. That, that's fantastic. <laughs> I'm but, um, glad. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I mean, so, three. so what are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting, you know, it's, it's the audience that decides, you know, it's, it's uh, the, the public that decides, you know. And of course, I want everyone to, you know, as many people as I possibly can persuade to come vote for me because I, I made room for my little <laughs> awards. He's a husband, he's a father, he's handsome, he's absolutely everything. You want to meet Gabriel Castello? 24th of September, keep voting, and the 30th of October, Central Hall, Westminster, that's where it's all going to be taking place. You know, the red carpet, what are you going to wear? I'm going to wear a nice, nice suit. My wife's going to be wearing a nice dress. My Any daughter, colors in mind? Ah, you know, there's only one specific color for me, and that's black and, you know, white, a white uh, T-shirt. Not, not a T-shirt, a white dress shirt. I said T-shirt. <laughs> well, I'm keeping my out outfit a secret. You have got to turn up to see what I'm wearing on the 30th of October. Don't forget, it's the, it's the night where all the black and ethnic minority personalities within film, fashion, television, arts, everyone in music, you know, the DJs, we've got the fashion mm -hmm. designers, we've got um, choreographers, we've got beauty pageants, we've got everybody under one roof on the 30th of October. Don't miss it. If you miss it, you'll miss out. Thank you very much for watching BEFTA Show. Until next time, bye-bye.